This week, I wanted to take a look at a couple of comments on my video about the sleeper. MDB messaged me on Discord saying, Another thing about the ruins that I just thought about, Hin and Hone might be Adam and Eve. Child of Hin and Hone sounds like a fancy way to say mortal or human, like son of Adam. Nothing proven there, but just thought it was an interesting thought. MDB brings up an interesting point. I do want to add that the sentence, if we can even call it that, isn't clear about who the child is. The child could be us, the sleeper, or Gragu. Nick F. also commented that he assumed that the jewel would have been the Iron Pearl of Manoa Lay, and that the Dark One would have been the false killer whale found near it. He cited the fact that the Great Aqua Cave is also associated with the princess. I think Nick is right. He later edited his comment to say that he assumed that the orca was the personification of the storm goddess. I think this makes sense thematically, as orcas incorporate both black and white and are generally larger than false killer whales or belugas. There's something specific in Nick's comment that caught my attention. Magutapa's description mentions him being guarded by another entity, one said to be even more terrible than he is. This stuck out to me because it made me realize that I haven't looked into the descriptions of animals for clues as to the lore. There are only two legendary animals in the first game, the Ancient Mother and Magutapa. The Ancient Mother's descriptions tell us that she is seen as the protector of the seas and the creator of all life. Though that second bit is from the second game, so debate amongst yourselves how canon it is in the first game. Magutapa, on the other hand, gives us some pretty dense lore in just a few lines. After describing his appearance and behavior, the description says, According to Pelago legend, he is the youngest of six sons of the virtuous goddess the Ancient Mother, and was a great leader of many warriors. But soon, he was poisoned by the sickness of greed, and shunned people to pursue his own twisted desires. As punishment for his misdeeds, he was trapped by the chief god and trapped under the sea. They say the one who stands guard to assure that this atrocious god never escapes is even more terrible than his captive. So this tells us a few things. Firstly, that Magutapa is the son of the ancient mother. While the earlier part of the description tells us that this is just a shark named after the god, it seems equally possible that the gods in this pantheon can manifest in multiple forms, possibly including both a shark and a human. This amorphous nature has precedent both in the lore and real mythology. In canon, we see the captor dressed with masculine pronouns, but when we try to find evidence of the pantheon in ship's rest, we can find an orca where Magutapa roams. This seems to imply that the manifestation of the storm goddess is the capt lending to the amorphous forms of the entities. In real mythologies, gods are often seen appearing in different forms, most famously Zeus, who would change his form any time a new woman walked within 30 feet of him. So where does this leave us on the pantheon? At the top, we have the ancient mother. If we assume that time is linear in this mythology, and she created all life, then there should be nothing before her. We know that she had six sons, one of whom is Magutapa. Since we know that all life comes from the Ancient Mother, every other living entity must then be one of the six sons or one of their descendants. My theory is that the Storm Goddess and the Flood God are two of the other sons. This is, of course, assuming that the Flood God is not Magutapa. If we are to assume that Hin and Hone were the first humans, then my guess would be that they were created by one of the sons or somewhere further down the line. Assuming that the king, prince, and princess were human, they would be descendants of Hin and Hone, along with us. Under the Storm Goddess, we can place both the Dark One and the White One. From this, the only entities we know of with no place are the Ancient Ones described in the tablets. We know they are affiliated with the Flood God and must come from the Ancient Mother, so we'll place them tentatively next to it. Well, this is my current theory for the Manoale Pantheon. Some of it is pretty vague, though, so let me know where you think it could be changed. Some of the information in this relies on you having seen my video on the Sleeper, which is on screen now. If you didn't and you're confused, check it out. Lastly, if you made it all the way to the end, know that I love you and I'll see you next week.